So is it wise or wise to say Demarius Thomas is a future Hall of Fame receiver? I think he is a future Hall of Fame receiver. And Peyton Manning said that this is one of the best receivers he ever played with in his career. And, and at practice, they – Peyton many kids used to run the Demary Thomas out of everybody. Yeah. So it, it shows you how close he was with Peyton. And I think when Peyton, Demary Thomas got Peyton Manny, like he went to a whole nother level. He had 1,600 yards one year and 14 touchdowns another. So he was on another level. He was an elite receiver at the time. You loved him in that world. He was an elite receiver. He was an elite receiver, man. I, he this, was a receiver. I disagree. I don't think what? that Demary Thomas, you know, is a Hall of Fame receiver. Because of the, <laughs> fact that, the fact that we even asked this question, to me, says you're not a Hall of Famer. Like, to me, if you're a Hall of Famer, to me, it's without question, without reasonable doubt. Terry Owens, Hall of Famer. Okay. Marvin Harris, Hall of Famer. Jerry Rice, Hall of Famer. Terry Thomas. Like, Hall of no, like, no. Like, when I think about Hall of Fame receivers, you got to be a for sure lock. Like, Terry Owens is a lock. Marvin yeah. Harrison is a lock. Okay, like Reggie Wayne is a lot. Jerry Rice is a lot. Demarius Thomas is not a lot. Is he a good receiver? Yes, but there's a difference in good versus great. He had a time. It's a difference. There's levels to this. He had a, his time when he was a leap receiver, Trey. And four consecutive years, he recorded 1,300 yards in four straight years. And he's, he's shown that he could, he could be a number one receiver. So Demarius Thomas deserves to be in the conversation. Randy Moss is Randy Moss. Terrell Owens. He's not up to Marvin that. Harrison. He's not up to that mountain, though, but he's definitely like a top 25 receiver. If you have to, like, go Ooh, from the top 25. Man. Demarius Thomas? He, what? he was a solid receiver. Number one. What? As he was good. good. He was good. What? Because oh my to be in the Hall of Fame, you have to be great. Man, listen. A lot of a lot of players in the Hall of Fame wasn't great, man. Let's be honest. A lot of running receivers in the Hall of Fame wasn't great. If he made it to the Hall of Fame, he would be one of them. I'm not trying to diminish Demarius Thomas in no kind of way, okay? I love Demarius Thomas. He won a Super Bowl, you know, with the Denver Broncos and Peyton Manning. I got a lot of respect for Demarius Thomas. Like, he was a good NFL receiver. But to say he was great, that's a no, know, that's, a, that's a, a stretch for me. That's I say he was great when Peyton, when Peyton came to Denver. That's when he's had his elite years. So, okay, so since you're saying that, in order for you to be an elite receiver or an all-time great, you don't need an elite quarterback to come to your team. You don't need an elite quarterback to come to your Man, team. Listen. Like you just said, you just you just you just pushed yourself into a corner. Like I'm not going to hold on. I'm going to be boxing and we in the ring and I got you on the ropes right now in the corner. Because you just said, like the reason why his career took off the way that it did was because the All Broncos right. brought in Peyton Manning. All right, about the elite receivers like Randy Moss, Terrell Owens, Marvin Harrison, they didn't need elite quarterbacks to throw them the football Marvin to Harrison, be at a high Marvin level. Marvin Harrison definitely needed uh, Peyton Manning. Even Marvin Harrison ain't on the level of Randy Moss or Terrell Man, Owens. Marvin, but you 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 saying it like he is. But I'm just, I'm just, what I'm saying overall is, though, they did it over a long stretch. Like Demarius Thomas, again, he emerged once Peyton Manning came to the Denver Broncos. Okay, look. So 2010, 2010. He had okay, 2010. He had a okay, yeah, but 20, okay, I, you can okay. He was an elite. He was a elite runner. He was a elite receiver when Peyton Manning came there. Like because his first two years they had terrible quarterbacks. Now he was elite receiver. You just said, I thought, but he was though. Oh my God, he, he just, was. He, he was. You just, said, you just said that he emerged once Peyton Manning came to the Broncos. Yeah. So what is it? Was he elite before no, Peyton Manning? No, he became no, elite I, I, said, I said, well, look, when Peyton got there, that's when he emerged to be an elite receiver. Exactly. You just said that. I, I got there. No, no, I didn't mean to say that. I no, you got my, you got my words twisted. But I said when, it, when Demarius Thomas. No, you got your words twisted. No, no. When, I said when Peyton May came here, that's when Demarius Thomas was balling. Like this, when, come on, think about it. He was just when he came in, the, he was here in his third year. He was still relatively young, and he started going off. Believe it or not, it takes three, two or three years for a receiver to, to like explode. And he exploded when Peyton came. And if Beckham didn't. Huh? But if Beckham came in the NFL ball. Yeah, true. Ball. True. Like, I mean, I, I can't levels, deny that. Levels to this. I can't deny that.